All right, check it out, folks. I'm Stately, and we're on that island. Remember that island that I cowered on? Well, we kind of chopped all the things down, and we built ourselves a little place to live. And Pi's here. Hi, Pi. Hi, Stately. See, Pi. Pi is here. Pi is here. Pi makes everything better. Everything is better with Pi. Uh, speaking of Pi, yes, and cooking. Yes. He is so we, pie we baker. finally we we had a uh, straw poll. That uh, we threw out Discord with uh, what the, yeah. What was and the outcome? The let's see the outcome for the straw poll currently. Uh, take a look at the results. Uh, well, the results were in. Three votes. It is sloop. There it is. Sloop. There it is. All right. So. This afternoon we got our shipyard set up and we got our sloop built and well neither of us have ever sailed anything bigger than a raft in Atlas and I don't think Pi has even done that so this should be interesting. We've got some oh fine leave see if I care. We've made some good progress. We have metal picks and, and axes now, and we have a loom over here for the sails. I couldn't be arsed to put a building around it just yet, so it's kind of out in the open. But we got our new little hovel here where we can cower during the night. Much better than standing between two, uh, you know, campfires. Standing uh, between two we campfires. we still do have. Just in case. Just in case you, you suddenly get cold again. Exactly. So this should be interesting. Let's uh, let's double check. So we have one sail for movement. Uh, that's this one. And we have one sail for steering. That's the one up front. I was trying to put a little wheelhouse in here, but there's just not enough room. So it's an open air sloop. We have a water barrel that's empty. Oh, no, wait. Actually, it's not. It's reasonably full. Let me go ahead and close that because I think it's probably evaporating. And we have supplies. We got some food in here and we've got um, stuff to repair the ship in here as well as some spare weapons just in case we need them. I think we're good to go. I think so too. This um, should be interesting. All right. I'm all right. Food, drink. Yeah. My water skins are full. I am ready. All right. All right, so I guess I'm going to be on the sails, and you will be on the wheel. Sounds good to me. All right, E for sail controls. I can rotate sails. I can open sails by 10% or zero. Yeah, it, you can open them all the way or in increments. So the front sail is for steering. Uh, the back sail is for speed. Um... Let's go ahead and close them both completely to start with. Okay, so fully close it. We've got the wind at our back, which is excellent. Oh, so this is also this. Is, wait, does this open? Oh, so the back sails are speed, front sails. Okay. Yeah, so I'm again, I've not done this before. Um, this seemed like a logical setup. We got one sail for moving and one sail for steering, as is tradition. Um, but now, now is the time to. So now watch. I guess we actually have to come. Yeah, you have to come over here and release the ship. Release the <laughs> ship. Sloop. <laughs> there I went. It I am pissed under the ship. There we go. Okay. How do I get on the ship? Get on the ship. Yeah, on the ship. Not letting me on the ship. Oh, uh, you know what? There might not be a way to get on the ship. Uh, there was a rope ladder option at the loom. Maybe I should have done one of those. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't see a way to... Uh, <laughs> okay. The... Okay. Right, Let's go ahead and get the rope ladder going so we can actually get on the ship. Yeah. Or possibly two. I, I hadn't even thought of it. I just figured we're, we're good. Okay, I need uh, I need some fibers out here. That's that's all it takes. All it takes, fiber, e bread. Let's see. Some e bread. 
Okay, I can make one, but I think we should have one on either side. Hopefully I this is what I think it is. Uh, I suspect it's going to be fine. So we weren't quite as ready as we thought we were. Oh, well, we were there. We were there. We just didn't see, like, the whole, like, hey, rope left. Right. Oh, Haley went to the drink. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out where to place this thing. This is the only place that I can legitimately put it. Okay, here we go. On the back? Okay, we got a ladder on the back. Okay. And you just hit climb up. Okay. All right. Minor issue. Successfully solved. Everything okay, so is going to be e just to fine. Climb. Oh, there we go. And then walk. Okay. Okay. All right, Captain, we're ready. All right, let's um, let's just slowly. Oh, hold on. There's like commands I can give. Is that how it works? I'm not entirely sure how any of this works. Uh, uh, go ahead and give us a little bit of sail. All right. So at the back, we're gonna go ahead. Let's go uh, ten, twenty percent or so. Let's just get us moving. 20% sail. Alright, let's uh let's go up to 30% sail and uh yeah, just go up to 50 or something, whatever. Oh now we're moving. 50 now we're sale. moving. Okay, so I have rudder control. That's good. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Can you Okay, oh that that was the Sorry, that was the front sail, the turning sail. Okay. Yeah, so go maybe a uh, 70 or 80% on the back sail and then 40% um, on the front sail. All right. We are 80% on the back sail now. And front sail. You want me to rotate the front sail at all or just... Uh, keep it straight. Let's see what happens. Just keep it straight for now. Go up to like 50%. Is it straight rotate sail through? You should just be able to click on the zero and it should uh, straighten yeah, itself it, out. Yeah, it's all right. So it's a, all right. So open sail ten percent, twenty percent. And let's go full sail um, on the rear sail. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Are we steering? Does the steering work reasonably well right now? Oh yeah. Oh, she's actually kind of. Not bad at this. Alright. I mean, going with the wind is easy, obviously. Well, yeah, tacking just means that we have to turn our sails to a 45. Pretty much, or yeah. 90 degrees. So we're heading this way. We're just kind of exploring, I guess. I mean, I will consider this a successful expedi expedition if we make it back. Yeah, I see there's a big island to, to the our north, correct. Yeah, and there's one. I've been there. It's an evil I love island. the compass here. So to the north, there's a bunch of pillars. But to the east, there's uh, more stuff, but it's like the other. You want to head to this island? You, have you already been to this one? Before? I have. Um, so tack the front sail to maybe um, 60 degrees to the left. So that would be like 300. Rotate sails to the to the 300 degree or wait you want it left like that more into the wind yeah that looks pretty good it's catching the wind and if you rotate the back sail too we should be able to pick up some speed and just uh fully deploy the back sail as well Let's see how fast yep. we can go in this thing. it's yeah they're fully open and we're gonna go that looks pretty good we're um yeah we're catching we're catching the wind really well so nice kind of cool like, this is hey, fun we're sailing it'll be more fun when we have cannons and shit but this is pretty fun so yeah. the the place we're coming up on is the island of evil snakes <laughs> the island of evil snakes and island why does it have the name the island of the evil snakes yeah, yeah. Because snakes ate me there like several dozen times. 
That was the first island I went to after the starting island. And it was, uh, it wasn't good. It was evil snakes. It was just evil snakes. I wonder if we get dolphins swimming along with us. Um, I, I haven't seen dolphins. I've seen sharks. I've seen all kinds of weird stuff on the ocean, but not dolphins. I do love this kind of pitching, rolling sea. It's really nicely done, isn't it? Yeah, this is almost better than uh, Black Desert Online Sailing, which is just kind of flat. I'm this, also this really is... looking forward to the bigger ships where you can actually well, customize. Well, the bigger ships, we're going to need more people, Cap. I can't be running around doing sail, right, cooking, right. and swabbing the deck. <laughs> exactly. No, that's absolutely true. But once you get to the bigger ships, you have some more options with what you can do with them, right? We could have theoretically put a little wheelhouse on here, but they're just, realistically, there wasn't any room. So we slapped some sails on here. We got a couple of chests and a bed, and, you know, Our it's fine. Our sloop has leveled up. Ding. Our sloop has leveled up. Ding. All right. Well, if you want to go ahead and choose something, I'd say durability, but um, your call. Uh, sure. Uh, Hold down E down by the middle of the boat. Oh, down by the middle of the boat. Yeah, that will be a little pop-up. And then you can go to ship properties. Company rank, ship setting. Company Whatever rank you do, setting. don't select scuttle. You mean demolish? Do not select scuttle. Hey birds, how you doing, man? Welcome. This is pretty. Uh, this is going to be a pretty short stream, but you know, this is our first, uh, our first sloop launch, and I figured I should share it with the world because sloop, there it is. There is, there is sloop. Oh, so it automatically Access goes to ship properties. Oh. Uh, and then you can double click on the options. You can increase its carry weight or its. Um, Phoenix, what's up, man? How are you? Oh. Check it out. We built a sloop. Pi and I built a sloop. We got a little base going, too. I'm really having fun with this. This is the secret to Atlas, ladies and gentlemen. Private servers. Just stay away from the official servers because they're trash. But these private they're servers common. are amazing. Now we just need to get a bunch of people to link up private servers with the. Uh... Other, other, other like-minded private servers? Well, again, I'm planning on having uh, maybe three or possibly Whoa, four load. servers. I felt that. I didn't notice anything there. It was pretty smooth for me. <coughs> oh, well, there's some pretty, flotsam pretty off the port bow. That would be to the left? Cut us down to about 40% sail. Cutting to sail. Ah. And uh, the mainsail too. On front sail and Take the mainsail down to like nothing. We'll uh, navigate on the steering sail until we get closer. All right. You want me to see about that uh, chest out there? We are barely moving. Maybe just give us a little more sail to get a little bit closer to it. There are sharks and shit out here, so the less we have to swim, the better. Okay. We're at 70% sail. All right, just uh, cut the sails when we're when we're abreast of it. This is awesome. This is so much fun. I get to command people around, even if it's just Pete. <laughs> just, even if it's just Pete. All right, we're, you know what? I'm calling this good enough. I'm gonna go ahead. This is good enough, all right. All right, close the sail. How do I stop steering? Oh, there we uh, go. I just hit E. I think you have to do the put down the anchor. I don't yeah. know if it's going to drip, but Yahoo! Um, did we forget to... Uh, we can't lower the anchor. It might be too deep. There might not be an anchor. Did we need an anchor? Is an anchor a thing ships need? I think ships need anchors, but yeah, it looks like I got some stuff in the chest. Oh, we got nine gold coins. Okay, the ladder's on the back. And yeah. oh, there's a shark. Shark, yeah, it's I a know. shark. Ooh, there you okay. go. Nicely done. Oh. Well Ooh. salvaged. All right. Let's get uh, underway again. Point. An accordion? An accordion. Oh, oh my god, you found a squeeze box. Easy. We got a we got a shanty song. Yeah, I got a couple too. You know what? Let's go back to my old base and uh Pull the stuff off the chest there because yeah, I have a couple of shanties a and some blueprints. 
Oh, the fancy stone walls? Yeah, I got the stone pillar yeah. blueprint too. There's another one off of our um, starboard bow at about 2 o'clock. Uh, okay. So give us some uh, sail and let's go. What do you have say? Just, here you go, sail. Yeah, we can, we can just navigate on the steering sail here. Yeah, we'll just use the front sail for now. Uh, we're actually going to have to... Rotate that to 270. Rotate mass to 70? 270. To 270. So left. That looks pretty good. It's actually kind of... I really can't rotate that. There we go. Still catching. It's kind of twitchy. It's... Hey, hey, Noble, how you doing, man? Yeah, I know. I should say port, not left. Yeah, port is left, starboard right, but that's fine. 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, you know, 6 o'clock. You know, I, that makes sense, too. Exactly. So once we get this uh, flotsam picked up, uh, we'll do a little bit of exploring. It looks like the ship leveled up again, too. I'm giving you a little kick of speed here. All right, and full stop. Yeah, uh, get to the front. Full stop. Okay. Uh, can I grab it without jumping in? I'll just keep an eye on the waters. Uh, shark incoming. It's a shark. Oh, it's a big one, too. It's a big-ass hammerhead. Ow! He just Whip. knocked me away from the boat. Okay, you're good. You're good. He's under the boat. Ah. Oh, you're not there good. Go. Okay. All right. I am so glad I put two ranks in that swim speed. I am yeah. super glad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. You're uh, you're now officially the dedicated stuff getter. Yeah. We got a blueprint for a fine thatch wall. We got an accordion of sea and snails hard. That's a pretty awesome. Salted meat. And some salted meat. Excellent. Some it beats hardtack. Yes. Okay. Um, so right. we're uh, we're heading due north. We're gonna head over to my old base and fully opening sail. Uh, yeah, there's a GUI for each of the individual sails, but the helmsman um, just goes left and right. And away we go. And we are. Sailing, sailing. A little to the northeast. I don't know what that big red cross there is. I don't know what the glowing light on my compass is, but it's glowing. Oh, yeah, read the tooltips. You can actually set a destination on your compass. Oh, okay. And oh, that's you what... can use... Noble says you can use grappling hooks to pull in the jetsam and the flotsam. And the flotsam and the jetsam. We don't jetsam, have any. Flotsam. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't, don't have, have grappling hooks. hooks. We, we barely, barely understand both, Mara. Yeah, exactly. We got the shipyard built, and we got a loom going, and a smithy. So, you know. Uh, no, uh, Noble. Um, here, if I pull up my map, on the top right, right next to the ship. Oh, I guess that means I'm not at the helm, because my map is open. Because it looks like a big old cross through a wheel. So I'm assuming that means that the ship is not currently being steered. <laughs> but we are going... Uh, we're going. We are, we're definitely going. So, you know. Oh, we got a ghost ship on the right. Oh, Sorry, cool. starboard. Starboard. Not right, starboard. Turn the mainsail to 270. Rotating mainsail. That's not the mainsail. Oh, the mainsail back here. I think it might actually already be around 270. It should be fine. We're still um, we're still making decent speed here. Everything's fully deployed? Yep. You don't have much XP? Did you pick up the game, Noble? Why aren't you on here playing? Oh, the ship doesn't have much XP. HP. Ah! Okay, it's getting a little too close. Let's, it's uh, called the Ship of the Damned. <laughs> tack away. Uh, give me uh, zero it's, degrees on the mainsail. Zero degrees on mainsail, sir, but... Just yeah, we wait. need to go. We need to go. The Ship of the Damned is getting very close. 
You're, um... You're do ah, they're shooting at us. They're shooting at us. Oh my god, they spoiled my mint. <laughs> Fortunately, they don't seem to be terribly good aims. Oh, there's Serpentine. another one over there. Serpentine. This is dangerous. This is very there's dangerous. There's another ship in front of us. I know, I know. I've got me trusty bow and arrow. I'll fire back at I don't think that's going to do much. Oh, Yar. balls. Oh, balls. Hey, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I think they're cannon beats bow any day of the week. Two epic pirate music. Yeah, right. We don't have anything to shoot back with. It's an exploratory vessel. Can you repair? We have all the repair supplies. Sure. Let me grab the flood. Uh, bad. I was trying to zigzag around. Oh, this isn't good. I'm gonna try to get behind How do I this repair? guy. Hair. This isn't good. Your ship is sinking. Yeah, no. What do I? How do I repair? In the same menu you use to uh, uh, upgrade the ship. Get the repair supplies. Yeah, repairable in like two something minutes. I... Okay, so uh, give me full sails ahead. All right, sails are on full right now. Ahead, straight ahead. We're gonna beach her. Okay. Uh, rotating, go back. Rotating, back. Rotate sails straight ahead. <laughs> on the back. Oh. This is not good. This is very much not good. God darn it! I need the. I don't need 500 wood. This is double plus ungood. All right. I'm just hoping we can make it to the to the beach before we what sink. What do I need to repair it with? I need wood and that. Yeah, we have all okay. of that. Uh, we did. It's okay. kind of going down. Well, that was fun. All right, I guess now we, we swim and get eaten by now? sharks. Oh, this is gonna suck. Yes, that sucked. I guess not entirely unexpected. Aha! Come forth, ship. I will fight you with my axe. <laughs> I'm actually damaging it, I think. Yes. Oh, that bastard. Feel the wrath of my bow. <laughs> oh, that did not go well. I guess we'll have to build a new boat. Yeah, that definitely was the sucks. <laughs> Okay, so note to self, stay much, much farther away from the ships of the damned. I'm going, going to try and... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to swim to the island. island. I'm going to try and swim to shore. I just don't know how I'm going to make this. I figure worst case scenario, if we die, we'll have a chance of getting our stuff back if we make it to the island. But I'm already starting to freeze, so I don't think we have a very good chance of survival here. Try to board the ship. I don't know if you can board the ships of the damned. I, I just tried. I tried to. I tried to get on it with by chopping at it with my axe. <laughs> well, that was fun while it lasted. Yeah, that was great until like you know that shit show started. You can actually salvage your sunk ship. Yeah. Um, there's even diving bells and stuff you can use. 
That said, am, in this am, case, are, it's probably not worth it. They are desperately firing cannons at me. This is hilarious. There are cannonballs hitting the water, like, inches from my head. Oh, One dear. shot, and I'm just going to suddenly just be pancake batter. Yeah, pretty much. All right, I've started to take damage from the cold, and I'm not really that close to the shore yet. It seems like I'm really close, but I still have a ways yeah, to go. Yeah, now to your right, to your right. Look to the... Yep, okay. Okay, too. so um, we... next invention, I think, should be a lifeboat. I think that island over there is probably... The uh, there's that beautiful, broken swimming animation. The noble stately swimming through the air on my screen. Oh, now you're in the water. Um, it wasn't really a fight, noble. We don't have weapons. Yeah, we didn't even have any cannons. We, we don't even have... Like, we have bows and arrows. And yeah, exactly. That did absolutely nothing. Pi's working on the, um... Pi's working on the firearms track, uh, skill track. So, Eventually at some I'll point, we'll have cannons, and we might be able to put up a fight, but, um... So oh. far... Okay, remember, Island of Evil Snakes. Mountaineering. Just a castaway... An island lost at sea, yo. Another lonely, lonely day. day. No one no here, one but, here me, but me, yo. yo. More oh, loneliness oh. any man could bear. Well, it would it would be more fun if we didn't suck, Noble. But yeah, so far we're having an absolute freaking blast. This oh, is... this stuff is different. It's called brushes and softwood. Yeah, and a lot of it's actually the same stuff. Just renamed. Just renamed, but I did get silver off of that rock. Um, so what do we do now? I don't want to lose our gear. I'm cold no. and darkness is falling, so we'll build a we'll build a little campfire. We'll build a new base here. And, uh, we'll start. Uh... Do we live here now? Is that kind of that we might as well live here now unless you want to, you know, the pirates seem to, look at that, there's even manta rays and monkeys here. This will be a great place to set a little. Well, we can set up a little waypoint here at least, right? Alright, so here, down by this grass, I'm going to throw a bunch of wood. Alright, well, let me slap down it. a claim flag. Yeah, put down a claim flag and, uh, what the hell, why not? And this will be like a waypoint. Fast travel. I don't right. think you can fast travel you between waypoints. Well, no, you can fast travel from beds. You can fast travel what? Uh, beds from beds. You can fast travel. From bed. At least you could art. I don't think you can go from just bed to bed arbitrarily. But again, this... well, no, you have to drop all your gear to do. It. Oh right. Okay. All right. Do you want the wood? Um, sure, yeah. Let me get a campfire going so we can kind of sort of heat up. Oh, okay, yep. Um, and what else have we got? You had some wood? Uh, I do. I have 362. Well, just uh, put some of it in the campfire and, um, sheep for wood? <laughs> sheep? the beer fairy wants to know if we have sheep for wood. We have we have woody sheeps. We have woody sheeps. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go grab me a drink and I'll be right back. Okay. Today's beverage of choice, by the way, is Salty Salty Tears. It's already on sale, Noble. It's only like 25 bucks right now. For 25 bucks, you should absolutely pick this up. No two ways right. about it. <laughs> I love how you can just wear those mantas like a, like a cloak. All right, got some fish meat cooking here. Hey, you know what? I'm the chef. I gotta make. I gotta make sure everyone's fed. So you know, fish meat. Gotta make gotta do. Have... 
No, can't I'm be right. Having, can't be having the captain starve to death now. I'm right there with you. Yeah, the captain who managed to lose his ship within 45 seconds of setting sail. That's me. Okay, here, I got some uh, monkey meat for us, too. Hey, oh, sorry, monkey. that was the wrong button. Delicious monkey meat. Okay, we're not going to starve, and we have wood and thatch, and I guess fiber shouldn't be too hard to come by, so let me go ahead and start. You're cold, you should find some warmth soon. There's, uh, there's no fiber on this island, is there? Uh oh no I'm... yeah yeah there is there yeah I just picked up two fiber I'm not I'm not seeing any I'm not getting any um, but we we should at the very least just cower the night here so we don't freeze to death and um, yeah then we'll have to ah, sorry I keep doing that. And then we have to see about um, getting back at some point, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, the inevitable death will mean a respawn over there, but I'd like to not take the easy way out. You know, maybe if we just build a little one-man raft and sail it back, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, what sail I'm, one over there. that's what I'm thinking. Um, but we need a, even for a... That's odd. Even for that, we need a... Tiny shipyard, I think. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, we need uh, 160 fiber, 70 stone, 280 thatch, and 560 wood. That's for a shipyard for a raft. All right. So we're going to have to head over to the main island. Um, yeah, let's make a little chest. Yeah, a box is a good idea, so we can conveniently Yeah, I can't stuff. make boxes. I, I have that. Let's see. For a box, I need... I need. Do you have any fiber at all? Uh, yeah, I have uh, 76 fiber. Okay, give me your fiber, and I'll pull some wood out of this. Here's more wood. Here's that. Here's need... hide. And... I guess skin also counts as fiber. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, you got all the stuffs here. Okay, and now I'm over encumbered. That's how much stuff we have here. <laughs> Yard. Actually, why? I think it. The search table for crafting stuff is very strange. Um. Okay. Anyways, let's put down a box and. Oh, because it doesn't scroll to the top. That's all. Okay. We'll just make a great big one. I can't place it until the flag's all the way up. Hightail Terrain Gen Blog post Friday through Sunday. I'm interested in that. I'm very interested in how Hightail handles terrain generation. That should be fascinating. Hightail is the other thing I'm currently interested in. What happened? Oh, here it is. Okay, it's coming on. And I am officially freezing now, so I'm going to stand yeah, close to the stand fire. Yeah, just stand right next to the fire. You cold is fine because it's like that's the thing. It's like once you're dried off. Yeah, no, it is. But once you start getting frostbite, eventually you'll die. Pretty yeah. quickly, actually. Once it goes on for too long. Kind of appropriate that we just went out sailing and immediately ended up castaways here. Does anybody have a volleyball? Yeah, I know. I was about to say, where is Wilson? Uh, there was a monkey around here, but I think he killed him. I mean, I, technically, I'm, I'm, I need a volleyball, but I'd settle for Brook Shields. <laughs> Wait, no, it's okay. the other way around. I'm reasonably sure it's the other way around. So, yeah, the ships of the dam, there seemed to be a lot of them. And when I was rafting around, they kind of ignored me. But I think if you're on 
Hey, Flyboy, how you doing, man? Welcome. But I think if you're on the, um, on a bigger ship, you need to just give them a very wide berth. There seem to be a lot well, of them, though. Yeah, the, that's, but that's the thing, too. It's also, if you have a ship, having a cannon, you know, to be able to fire back. You guys to be know, able to it, defend ourselves a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I, I guarantee if we had some cannons, like, when... We, you know, just lining up shots. I think it would be fun to, you know, that that's really like, all right, I got to look up how to do cannons. Yeah, so you have to work your way through the archery tree until you can unlock the projectiles tree, I think. Um, this is pretty much as new to me as it is to you, though. That's what I was looking at earlier. So in theory, yeah, we, we need to... We need to be able to defend ourselves, but I don't know how well we'd be able to defend ourselves against those yeah, like ships of the dam. Secrets of the bow. Learn to do the zip line anchor, so you can, you know, zip line on the Which is also kind of cool. There's also like climbing tools and stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, neat stuff that we haven't even touched in this game. In addition to all of the, all of the stuff that Ark had, you can still breed and tame creatures and. Far fewer dinosaurs, though. Uh, let's see. I need to eat something. I love how I have, like, all these recipes for, like, making pork pies and other stuff, but, like, don't have any of the ingredients. Yeah, barbecue. there's, there's like, a lot of weird ingredients for stuff. And that, I'm sure there are... Not yeah, that's what it's going to be is like build a base. Great. If we want to have, you know, beef burgers, well, we're going to have to go tame cows and ship them back over here, start breeding, get an abattoir going. Teach somebody how to butcher things. Um, and a fiddle, a fiddle, we do have an ARC server, Flyboy. We're, we've kind of stepped down on the Minecraft. Right now, we just have like one vanilla PB server running. When 114 comes along, we're launching a new one. Right now, I'm mostly interested in Atlas here and um, Hightail, which is coming soon. Did you build storage chest anywhere? Oh, we can't put it down until... We can't put it down until the uh, flag is, raised, flag is yeah. up, which won't be much longer. Is the ARC server down? Okay, I'll look into that tomorrow. Oh, I got to level up. Uh, what do we got? Let's see. So I've been working on the the sailing seamanship skill tree here, and I got the ship right, and I got the... Oh, before I do that, I have to select a skill. Okay, so I have five points available. Um, we got weight sails, we got handling sails, we got speed sails, and then the stuff up here I can't really afford. Basic sailing I have, Navigator's Tools, allows you to make a sextant, which is probably useful, but I don't need it right now. I don't know what Captaineering is. Sightseeing increases invisibility of flotsam, that's not interesting. Piracy. I'm going to unlock Piracy. Basics of piracy, blackjack, handcuffs, noose, grappling hook, flare gun. Oh my yes. And secrets of piracy lets you make gibbets, wooden cages, diving attachments, or music and dance. You know I'm going for the music and dance. Oh yeah. Learn yeah. skill, music and dance unlock. Okay. All right. I, I'm sure there are better ways to spend my skill points. Can I reset it, the ARC server? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it hasn't been played on for a while. I'd be happy to. But I ser seriously think you need to pick up Atlas, man. Okay, so music and dance. When I have some skill points available, I can learn to play that accordion that we found. That, well, <laughs> you found. I found ammunition for it that apparently is... You found yeah. ammunition for an accordion? What kind of accordion is this exactly? Is it a full automatic or a semi-automatic accordion?
I love the idea of accordion ammo. Uh, yeah. It oh, actually, hey, the claim says, is um, claim. accordion colon a Maka two once told me easy slash ammo. Interesting. And then there's a. I guess you have to play like a DDR mini game to play it. Really? I yeah. Well, yeah. It's just like it's kind of fun. Though. Here, I'll throw it in the. Uh, put it in the chest. Um, it, what I think we should just do is honestly put all of our stuff in the chest and then suicide out, get on a raft, come back here and get our stuff. Or we build another sloop. Hmm. Take a little while. Yeah, well, or we can, we do have that other raft that is there at the base. Yeah, yeah, we have a we have a spare raft, and rafts are cheap. And apparently the ships of the damned aren't interested in them. All right, well, I kind of wanted to explore a little bit on the Yeah, we'll wait until daytime. We'll have a look around. We'll put all of our valuables away. Um, yeah, that way, that way, you know, it's like I don't mind carrying around the stone tools. It's just like I've got this metal axe, metal sight. Well, yeah, it's not we hard can, to make the metal tools either. We, we can make those again. Axes. That's fine. Yeah, no big deal. Like it, I'm just yeah, thinking about things deal. like the, the stuff we picked off the flotsam. And honestly, yeah, I mean, just looking at my inventory, there's nothing hugely valuable in here. So that's no big deal. Hopefully we'll get some levels out of it. And yeah. What time is it? It is. Uh, it's going to start getting light soon. Yeah, we'll head on out. It was $25 until like the 7th. And oval. But yeah, 30 is... Um, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to be in on the ground level of something like this because in spite of all the complaining, it has a huge amount of potential. And 90 bucks is a decent price for a 1050. A TI, right? Not a just a 1050. Okay, I'm pretty heavily loaded here, so I'm going to put some more stuff in the chest. It won't take too long to make a new sloop. It's a shame this one didn't last a little bit longer. <coughs> but whatever, it's no big deal. And this is all just basic, standard stuff. Okay, I um, accidentally pulled more most of the meat out of the fire, and I can't oh, put yeah, it the, back. Oh, yeah, you were right. This is the um, island of evil snake bastards. Oh, did you get evil snakes, too? No, there's an evil snake right here, yeah. Yeah, be careful. They are bastards. Where are you? Right over here. Oh, you left. You couldn't wait until we got light. Okay, got it. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can help out. You did. Uh oh. I oh, got you got him. him. Okay, cool. No, I misread that. I thought the snake guy. I carry snake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a beach manta right here. Let me see what we can get. Out grab of that that manta too. Right. Oh, where'd that snake go? I just dropped him. Oh, did he fall through the world? I don't know, but doesn't this manta ray look good on me? He looks delicious. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. All right, let's drop this stuff off, and then we'll do a little bit of exploring. Yeah, the two gigabytes, well, for 1080, two gigabytes, I mean 1080p, right? Um, two gigabytes is probably okay. Um, here, I'm going to put some of the spare meat in there so that you you can grab some, too. At least we won't starve. And all of the valuables, all the cool stuff that we picked up off of that flotsam is here. Yeah. 
Well, there's two, there's like two chants. Yeah, songs. but that's, I mean, I know they're not too rare, but we can't make them ourselves. True. All right. You want to kill the fire and we can, um. I was just cooking the rest of the uh, fish and meat there. Oh, but, okay, uh, cool. Actually grab a. Grab that. No, I mean it's a fair price, Noble. Ninety bucks for a 1080 is just fine. Oh, well, I'm cold now. Okay. All right. Huh. <laughs> My vitamins have completely inverted themselves. Now I'm short on fruit and vegetable. <laughs> Probably going to end up catching scurvy. Oh, right. Yeah, now it's like I've got plenty of seed, but all right, I'm going to... Head back over around that way and see if I can find fiber. Um, all right, I'll um, I'll follow you. You're cold, derp. Right. Keep an eye out for SPGs. Oh, there's men. Well, you just killed a seagull. Yeah. <laughs> That's me, murderer of fierce creatures. Good eating on one of those. It's like 40 pound seagull. 40. No, honestly. There are really no fibers on the side. Like, every, like, now and then I kind of grab, like, a fiber or here, but boy, there's, like, there's bound to be some, but I have heard of islands that have none, so it's possible we're SOL. I mean, if if there no, are no, no, we got, we got. I'm I'm fine. I'm also finding like truckloads of like mint. Yeah. Shall we so uh, go um, pay our respects to Ganesh? Yeah, let's go say hi to Ganesh. You seem the terrible. I love how I still have, like, the drunk beer effect. The drunk beer effect? Yeah. Uh, oh, did you find the... some beer in the flotsam? Yeah, there was a beer in the flotsam, and I drank it. And I was like, oh, cool. And it's like, cool. And I get, like, extra stamina regeneration for, like, six, ten minutes. Hey, nothing wrong counting with that. down, like, some, like, you know, second. Like, 600 seconds left on it. But I do have, like, beer goggles on. Like, I, I have, like, drunk bubbles. Like in my vision. That's hilarious. Like one, one lousy mead. Uh, do you think there's going to be dangerous stuff in that water? Oh, no. I'm sure it's fine. There's nothing dangerous here. Oh, no. There's a bunch of uh, bass. He's stuck on an island on, on our PVE server flyable. I've been uh, a little burned out on Minecraft for a while now. Found wild peppers. Found some straw. Yeah, there's fiber. All right. So hopefully we'll be able to actually get out of this alive, which I would consider a victory. Yep. I am being attacked. My torpidity is rapidly increasing. You got a what I just got you? attacked by? A really angry turtle. Want to help me out here? Nice. I guess it was a venomous turtle or something? I don't know what the deal is with that. Yeah. Or maybe something else attacked me, but I'm pretty sure it was just the turtle. There's another turtle behind you. Another turtle! Run! Run from the turtle! I mean, walk slowly at your convenience from the turtle.
Man, that poor turtle never had a chance. Was it a snake? I didn't notice I the snake. I only noticed the turtle. But yeah, the this is the island of asshole snakes, so... That's a bear over there, dude. Is that a bear? No, no that's, that's a pig. pig. Oh, it's a pig. They're not hostile. There, there is a bear. Oh, no, there's a big old bear. Let's stay away from the big old bears. No, let's play with the big old bears. No, let's not play with the big old bears. What level is this pig? Pig's big old bears two. lead to death. Come on, come over here and play with the pig. Well, as long as the bear doesn't get involved. You know what I noticed? The uh, mobs don't interact with each other. You can have, like, fluffy bunnies right next to bears, and they're all like, yay. Oh, that's a good kill. You gonna take it home with you? Is that your plan? I... Look so what I found! Just... Give it to Noble, so I'm sure he's... so used to hitting, hitting uh, like, E to loot things. So right, I right, right. Just pick it up, like, ah, like, oh, crap, I didn't mean to do yeah, that. There is a lot of poop around here. There is a prolifically pooping animal somewhere around here. There, there was, was a bear, bear right, right over here. I just want to say. All right, I am grabbing up all. Oh wait, why am I doing this by hand? I have a scythe. Oh, you have that beautiful scythe I made you. Yeah, there we go. You can There's gather all up there. crazy There's amounts all that of straw. straw. Holy shit! Swinging my scythe from side to side. I Honestly, it's probably not a bad up. idea to just have a Wild. little base of some kind set up on the island so that we have uh, places to go to. It doesn't have to be much. Alright. Well, the Dude, alpha this... seem to be more aggressive. Um, the I've never the seen a pig not attack. Mess with the at all. No, I think bears are passive too unless you get too close or bother them. The bear is just like, I'm just a bear. doesn't care. I'm just a bear. That is an impressive looking bear, too. Okay, so for the tiny shipyard, we need 560 wood. We're pretty much good on fiber, but we probably need more, more wooden thatch. He's only level 2. In theory, we might be able to take him, but I don't see the benefit. Uh, he's a lot of hide and eat. Very possibly. We're good on food. I don't know if we need f hides. If you see one and you can kill it, you should. But I, I got messed up bad by like a level 170 alpha monkey a while back. And I'd rather stay alive, you know? I want to live! Okay, I'm going to head back to our flag and um, see what else we need. I'm pretty fully loaded right now. Well, I'm all right. I'm not um, unable to walk or anything. You're cold. Yeah, they have little uh, flame particle effects. Yeah, they... <laughs> they glow with like a quite a robust aura and they really are best avoided unless you know what you're doing okay let's check the map here and okay zooming it in doesn't make it any sharper um i'm not sure why but the map isn't showing our claim it's the far south end right yeah, it was, uh... It's not showing on here. It's odd. Um, let's well, see. Yeah, we were, we were in the southeast area, though. That's, like, we were right by that southeastern pillar. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I'm pretty sure we're heading the right way. I'm just a little unclear on why the claim area doesn't show up. Maybe it'll show up on the atlas. I might have to go check that. Our poor sloop. Yeah, I know. We worked hard on that sloop. We did. Well, hard-ish. 
kind of goofed off for well, a couple of hours. And eventually we ended up with the sloop. Wait, which pillar was ours? Hold on, there's Ganesh. Yeah, it was an island just... Oh, like... there's a, there it is. Wow, we were way out here, yeah. Did you find it? Yeah, it's way out here. To, uh, I can see it now. Okay, I'm going to have to step away in a minute to um, put the potatoes in the stew, basically. But let me try to find this island first. Uh, it's basically, if you're looking on your map, it's the very bottom right most little dirt speck. Yeah. I mean, oh, we, there it is. We, okay. Yeah. Yeah. A speck of dust has settled in my eyes. It doesn't matter. I've seen everything anyway. This map doesn't show much. It doesn't show your teammates. It doesn't show your flags. It just doesn't show much. It shows me and nothing else. I know there's the me, Atlas. My, me, myself, and Pi. Me, myself, and... No, it doesn't even show Pi. I mean, it'll probably show you Pi, but that's because you are Pi. Hey, that's the person I am! Oh, wow. I don't know if you can breed alphas. That'd be cool. Yeah, we should have definitely moved in further inland. For, but, yeah, you know, this is just a spot it's, where... It's fine for now. Like, we should have uh, enough resources to build a little... Plenty of... Plenty of stuff. I have massive piles of meat. Okay. Tiny shipyard requires 99 fibers of which we have 46 so far. Do you have any more fibers? Oh, wait, no, I have... There should be several straw. hundred in there. Straw is a fiber, straw. yeah, okay. Um, 70 stone. Check. 280 thatch. And 560 wood. Um, so we need another, give or take, 100 wood and uh, like 12 thatch. Got it. Cool. Uh, I'm assuming there's still wood in the campfire, right? Yeah, there's still wood in the campfire. There's also, like, right across the way here. I'm just going to grab the tree. Okay. I'll, um, oh, there's so much wood. So just a little more thatch is all we need. Thatch. Oh, I'm overloaded. I'm very overloaded. That's Alphas can't okay. be tamed. The Noble says Alphas can't be tamed. Okay. Um... Oh. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely have enough wood. Uh, Twelve thatch. That's that's all. That's I've all got we need. Thatch back. Oh, there's another beached um, narwhal or whatever it is. Nar. Beach Man. narwhal. I mean, this is definitely a good source of food. It's kind of silly, I suppose. Sometimes you don't get the hitting sound, but you're still actually hitting them. That's kind of weird.
Okay, I'm just kind of. Oh, there you are. Okay, you're coming back. I forgot. Action. I forgot to, uh, like let my stamina recharge before I jump in the water. <clears throat> oh, right. there we go. So now that I like can walk, it's like, yeah, your stamina's like you asshole. <laughs> right. I almost drowned in like three inches of water because I didn't have. It's a hard duck life. And there's that. You have like 500 thatch in there. Yeah, we got plenty now. Alright. Going out hunting. And stone. Okay, we're probably going to need more of the same for... Um, stone. The ship. Okay, slate is not stone, apparently. Um, there's a problem with the stone. I have, oh, I have 58 slate. There's way more slate here. Okay. Why is that not working? Why can I not transfer this? What the hell? Hmm. That's odd. I guess there's just some kind of maximum load, so if I offload some stuff, it should be fine. Well, because there's, like, flint and... Well, here, if I hit... No, no, we have everything we need. I just can't carry it all. Um, there's, yes. like, a, an upper limit. There we go. Yes. Tiny shipyard. Slate craft one. Shirt, shirt the uh, flint. Well, yeah, so there's, like, a limit beyond which you can't move, but there's also a limit beyond which you simply can't carry stuff anymore, apparently. Hmm. So, yeah, there is an absolute upper limit to what you can carry. It is what it is. Okay, I have a tiny shipyard, which is basically just a little dock, but let's go ahead and work out where we can put that. Obstructed. There we go. Okay. And then. Okay, we can make a dinghy or we can make a raft. And the raft's really cheap and the dinghy's a little less cheap. Um, and this thing has an inventory, so I'm going to start moving stuff over. Um, All right. And see if we can get back on a dinghy. You got wrecked by a creeper. That's never good. So let's see, this is going to come with, and um, straw is going to come with. Okay, I'm going to step away for just a second because I need to throw some potatoes and stuff in my stew. No worries. Um, but let's check here. What we still need is, oh, I just grabbed a bunch of fiber. We need 220 thatch and 180 wood, um, in the inventory for the, for the shipyard here. Be right back, folks. Right. guess it's a B. Two, that, there, that. I can't open the thing until the pressure's let off. 
Um, so I just realized if we actually build a dinghy, um, we're probably going to have to build a loom to make sails. So I'm thinking we'll just go with the raft. Let's and all I need raft, for that yeah. is 250 wood, of which we already have 121. So call it another 130 wood and 60 all right. skins. And I have the skins, so... Just wood? Uh, just another 130 or so wood, and I'm pretty sure that's all in the case. There is... Is there wood left in here? I've got like a hundred... I got like a hundred sixty wood. Okay. Back. Yeah, we'll just we'll just sail away on a raft. That seems wiser because we don't really want a dinghy. We want a new sloop. Yeah, we want to. I, yeah, why waste the time dinging about? Yeah, agreed. Floof. We can be. How you doing? We can be sloop de whooping. We can be slooping. We can be sloop a whooping. We can be getting our sloops sunk by ghost ships. Is there you what go. You're saying. I threw. All right, that's it. Should be rebuilt. Now. The SS Sad Yar. Yar. The SS. The SS Sad. Sad Yar. All right. So let's get I a bed and a couple of chests so we can move our stuff. Um, we, we really don't have anything. Hide that. Fiber. No, but having a bed on here is a good idea. And we did find some stuff that we want to transport, but nothing urgent. Um, if you can carry in our inventories. Exactly. If you can pop down to bed real quick, um, I'll be right back. Bed. Fibers, hide, thatch, wood. What's the one more thing? And another thing. One more thing. Okay. All right. The SS Sad Yar. Did you uh, sort out a bed? Were you still missing something? I am trapped in bed right now. Sweet. I walk Baltic Matilda for Let's see. Fiber, blah, blah. None of this is particularly essential, but I'm figuring I'm just going to fill up my inventory. Hey, we had an experience. We had, we had an experience. We're going to come back with some supplies. It shouldn't be too hard to make another sloop. No, it barely took us, what, an hour? Not even that. It was mainly like trying to figure the darn thing out. Right. I think you should pick up Atlas Floofies and come play with us. And we got some shanties out of it, and that's yeah. not useless. Um, let's see, we'll grab the skin and the fish oil and hides. I still got plenty of inventory for all of this stuff. Yeah. 
I can. Yeah, the, the, I mean, the beat is. Alright, stone, I'm not gonna buck church. Yeah, why? No, I suppose we don't. I might hold on to the metal just because. Yeah, and the silver and stuff, absolutely. Yeah, the, I mean, we... Metal I got the gold coins, like. and I got the blueprints and the, the songs and stuff. Oh, hey, wait, quick. Hold on. Another beached... Another beach narwhal. It's a majestic sea flap flap, I'll have you know. Oh, you know what? Um, can you um, also slap down a campfire on the raft so we don't freeze? Apparently campfires don't burn anything down, which is odd. Uh, yeah, what do we need to build a campfire? Yeah, yeah. A couple of I rocks. If you need anything... Uh, I need a flint and a stone. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Hold on, I probably have that. No, I got it, I got it. Got it. All right. And... Campfire. Okay. All right. So cannons, huh? <laughs> Bow and arrow right now, but yes. Uh, maybe we so... should maybe get some cannons. Okay, let's, uh, shall we try to make it back to base? Yep, how do we rotate uh, things when you place out? It's pretty much the same idea. Um, okay, so do south, right? Do south. Off we go. Mm, no, it is really pretty much just do south. This thing doesn't have a rudder or anything. You have to steer with the sail, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but it works. Oh, and now the wind changes. Like, as soon as we set sail, the frickin' wind changes. It figures. Oh, there's another ship of the damned. Starboard. One o'clock. Two o'clock. Dude, do you not see the mega tsunami typhoons that are behind us? Also, oh dear. Oh, that's not good. Sweet! Oh, Jesus. that's not good. I've summoned an elder dragon. Don't. It's this your dance, isn't good. it? It's like a summon elder tsunami dance you're doing. Okay, maybe the god of the sea didn't like my jig. The god of the sea is very displeased by your jig. <laughs> Poseidon is not happy. <laughs> there are just opening up everywhere. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is what not... What the sweet good. fucking Christ We are this? so gonna die. We are going to die horribly. By Poseidon's salty butthole. What the hell is going on? Oh, here, this is gonna be good. You Steer have into angered the, the gods. Seriously, it was perfectly good weather until we set sail. It was fine. It was a sunny morning and all of a sudden, by the way... Right? Gonna, oh. oh, that wow. one's coming straight towards us. Uh, and yeah. now we're. Uh, are we? Trouble. We're not even. Oh, it, it just faded. Um. Oh, did they just like warp over us? No. Oh, that's so cool. Not when you're about to die. It's not. No, this is kind of pants wetting, <laughs> terrifying, like. I have no idea where we're going. Oh, the water. Oh, the, it's hey, clear enough. Them. It's clear you enough. Want me to get the flotsam? The flotsam? The flotsam now does now seem like a good time. Yeah, I now don't does see any of those cyclones anymore. Okay, hold on. Hey, our wrap level does. Fully close all sides. Okay, well, if you're feeling brave, we're safe now. The um, tornadoes have gone. That was terrifying. That was awesome! That was awesome and terrifying. It was terrifying. I'm glad we did that on the raft and not on the sloop. Yeah, no shit. <coughs> Holy balls. That's like... Dude, mute button, man. Sorry. It's all good. There's also a jellyfish between you and the back of the ship. 
It's only level two and they don't hurt too much. What's going on here? Seriously, uh, am I about to die of vitamin shortage? I have clearly not been paying attention. Yeah, they're eat the food. Eat the eat the mint. Eat all the mints. And I'll be fine. Yes, yes so I Okay, so um the wind is coming from directly where we're trying to go. And this thing so, does not tack well, so this is going to be challenging. Oh, we left on a sloop and we're coming back on a raft. Story of my life. And there's a <laughs> ship of the day up ahead. Yeah, they, they pretty much like, know I don't rafts. know what it is, but they're just generally like, yeah, please, but sir. I'm still kind of tweaking the server. If I can turn the spawn rate of the ships of the damned down. Oh, you're doing, doing good, good, dude. I will feel a little bit better about all of this. Yeah. I, yeah like I, I said, I prefer, prefer a challenge than, you know, too easy. I do prefer a challenge, but the vanilla setup for this game is punishingly hard. Um, and honestly, I've played so many survival games, I don't really want to have to do those first three nights over and over again. Makes sense. But this this setup seems to be good. The, the drops are fine. The spawn rates, I would like the, the epic spawn rates to be a little lower. I might turn down the overall spawn rates a little bit. But I'm still tuning it, and eventually we're going to have more than one grid, and we're going to have PvP zones, and we're going to have, you know, competing clans. And what I'd really like to do is have kind of a, a storyline. What I was thinking to, like, make the PvP make sense and stuff is have, like, a corporation that pays people to make fortresses and defend them and stuff like that, and, you know, reward people for setting up large ships, um, having big armada battles, things like that. Come up with an excuse for them to do it in an environment that's largely PVE. Oh, absolutely, is, we're going to have crude boats and enough, fight to the uh, dead. Without, like, but what I was thinking, Noble, is that, for example, you, you, you set up your corporations in a PvP area, um, but there's, there's an in-game entity that'll pay players to build and defend a fort. And there's another in-game entity that'll pay players to attack that fort. So they're basically rewards for PvP under specific circumstances that take away the whole asshole concept but still make it interesting. That's what I'm aiming for. That, I think, would be a really fun idea. Sorry, Pi, I didn't mean to talk over you there. I was trying to answer Noble on, uh... Oh, no, no dude, it's... It, it's all good. Jigger. I mean, once, once again, again, the, the, the fact, fact that, that... We, we took, took a sloop out, out. We're, we're coming, coming back, back on a raft, raft but, but it's, it's also, also the fact that we, we went out there and it was like, like you do see the ship of death. death. Like, yeah, yeah okay, you do see the cyclones coming. Okay! Yeah, it was all really, really, really bad. It's like, okay, I'm never going to leave my house again bad. This is a game that punishes exploration. Oh, absolutely. Uh, remember, guys, the game is in alpha, and the official servers are absolutely toxic. Um, but it's already a really damn good game, just just on the base of this, just on the basis of being able to run a simple little PvE server and go sailing in in various boats that you can customize. That's enough for me. And this is like week two of a two-year early access. This this game has the potential to be epic. It's the, it's the cynic in me that just goes, it has the potential to be epic. A lot well, of things have the yeah. potential to be epic. My bowel movements have but, the potential to be epic. No, they don't. But they I really, really, really don't. Your bowel movements do not have the potential to be epic in any other sense than those giant elephant turds that we keep running into. 
like, like corp life. life. <laughs> Huge fossilized beagle remains. Yeah, you're right, Noble. It's a little strange. It would be nice if you could, like, click on ropes or something to do that. <laughs> um, Ooh, it is mint. Fossil. Absolutely. Ah, oh, the mint is spoiled. You'll deal. You'll, you'll manage to survive without your mint. So the problem we're having here is that the wind is basically coming from directly where the island is. Yeah, what is that up ahead? Do you see that purple thing? Yeah, well, oh, I it's more it flotsam. Yeah. That looks like high-level flotsam. So let's go ahead and pick up grab high level flotsam. I'm gonna grab some high-grade flotsam. He has like all the swimming bonuses. Bubba, what's up, Bubba? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Uh, We're on a little private PV Arcs uh, Atlas server. I'm doing it too now. Okay, so I'm gonna. Anything good? We received a War Drums, the Reiner's Ballad, hard. Uh, a purple blueprint for a masterwork large stone gate. Uh, a berry tea, uh, a potato. <laughs> a potato. Uh, meat, a potato, and, you say? Uh, Forty-seven blueprints of the common wood staircase. Uh, that's not terrible. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine with hey, that. for a box that you found sailing around on the ocean, that's not terrible. Oh, jeez. Um. It's going to take us like three years to get back if the wind keeps it going this way. Uh, it's blowing directly against us. We'll get there. We can do this. Oh, that's the end of the world up ahead. Okay, maybe we can't. Maybe we're all going to die. We're all going to die! We're all gonna die. <laughs> I think it might be fun to do this as kind of a red versus blue thing, where there are only two corporations, and they both have their own mapped sections, and there's like a PvP area in the middle. What do you think? What would be a good way to like run a big server, but not a huge server, for something like this? No, I don't think it would be too hard. But how would you do it? Okay, let's tack over again. Not that way, this way. Derp. So, I guess the Flotsam and Jetsam the... has quality. Yeah, I'm tacking back and forth. I'm trying to get back to our island. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I was like, you're turning... There's some Flotsam over yeah. there that, like, shall we, shall we go grab it? We might as well yeah, get something well. out of this, right? Um, I mean, we're, it's not... If you want to go get them, you're going to have to swim to them from here because this is directly against the wind. For the record, I'm sending Pete out not because I'm indispensable, but because he has all the swimming bonuses. Well, I have also the because he's bonuses. dispensable. Because I'm just I'm extra dispensable. Wow, there's like three or four. There's like a whole long line. I think the purple here. ones are rares, but uh, there's a shark. You should come back. There's several. And I can't oh, there move. are several. Oh, there are several sharks. Try not to die. We don't. We don't want you dead. We want you to come back with the good stuff. Oh, they're circling around you, man. Stroke. Stroke. Trying to distract them. See if Stroke. I can aggro them, but. Boat. 
Haha, <laughs> nice. Well done. Alright. This, uh, this ship has served us better so far than the sloop has. Yeah. Um, <laughs> with this most recent excursion, we received some onions. No uh, onions. Some acai berries. But, uh, this uh, is... Eight blueprints of a common thatch door. A common thatch door, you say? Be still my beating heart. War drums raise the colors easy. I'm really yeah, looking forward to seeing how the music video. stuff works, because that really seems fun. We haven't run into any ships of the damned. Okay, Noble. Uh, ghost ships and ships of the damned are two different things. The ships of the damned are the ones that sunk us. The ghost ships aren't. Those are different. The SS Yar. 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 <laughs> the SS Damp Retreat. <laughs> the SS Moist Gusset. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, you, you be naming the ship a kind of crappy name. Right. You called it the Moist Gusset. I couldn't think of something that sounds nastier coming off your tongue. <laughs> I had to go full pirate for that one. Uh, that you, you did well, too. You you pirate well, man. Oh, you mean we haven't run into any ships of the damned on the raft? Yes, you're right. I mean, we saw a few earlier, but they ignored us. Give me just a sec, guys. Alrighty, lads. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We're not moving. I tried to tack directly into the wind. Probably shouldn't try to tack directly into the wind, huh? There we go. Not quite. Almost. We may yet survive. Iron Captain, I've got me rough drink. And we're dead in the water again. Oh. Do you need any food, Captain? Um, no, I'm in pretty good shape, actually. I'm cold, but we got a fire, which has gone out. Which has gone out. But I still have some wood. Still not quite sure what the charcoal's I have batch. for. Thatch works, too. Uh, probably, the charcoal is probably going to be used to make gunpowder. Uh, that's, charcoal that's is a good one point. of the key components of gunpowder. This is a very fine point you make. Potassium nitrate, sulfur, and uh, charcoal. In the right ratio. Yeah, you got to remember the ratio. I do love the fact that, like, there's obvious different levels of the seeds. And when you're yes. around the buildings, the, you know, the, the waves are much smaller or languid than you get out to the open water. And it's like, it's like Black Desert Online, where, like, 
if you're in the coves, you can take a rowboat out. You can even take a small sailboat, but when you get out to the deep, there's big rolling waves, like, you know, 20, 30 meters tall. Yeah, and it really feels like you're on the ocean. I, yeah, I, I am, like, the boat's pitch. I'm in third person view because I'm loving it. Yeah, the third person view works pretty well. It seems to work better than Ark. Yeah, I think it's because the camera's not so, you know, gnarly. It, it could, I wish it could go back a little further, but, you know, fine. I don't know if you can change that. It might actually be a thing that you can set. Unhinge the camera, yeah. Oh, you've got nothing. You got it. There you go. Yeah, you we're getting close. You we're only steer back. with the sail, right? Basically. Yeah, on the rafts, you only steer with the sail. And so that's, okay. I kept kind wondering of why you was like, you seem to be flipping the sail back and forth a lot. Yes. Faster, but I also was like, how are you turning the boat? And it's like, no, you're not. You're I'm not, blindly I'm not just going in it. a the, direction. The raft <laughs> rotates towards... Yeah. The direction of the sail. The direction. Which is not of the sail. really realistic, but I've never tried to sail anything without a rudder, so, you know, maybe it is. Yeah, if you didn't have a rudder, you'd be at the mercy of the wind. But basically, I'm trying to tack on the wind here. Yeah. <laughs> and we're getting there. Slowly but surely. You know, the other thing you can do is, uh, well, the the cook, what Captain Cook would do is you go the strongest leeward side. You just ride it all the way past the island, and then when you turn back, you're, you'll are basically have full wind uh, drawing you to the other side. Yeah, which um, is very time-consuming, but does work. Very time-consuming, too, which is like, yeah, you know. Well, it's, you know, if you had a full galley in here, you were telling the crew every, like, 30 seconds to literally lower the sail, turn it 30 degrees. Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. They'd be like, all right, are you mad? Do you need a line, Captain? Maybe a mint. How about a mojito? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little disappointed that all I have on this raft is a cook, no bartender. You know, it, it's going to get to that point, you know, that's going to be the mod pack I'm going to insist on. Be like, we have the sugar cane. We have that. We have booze. Like, come on. Right. Well, that's one of the things I can make is like teas and brandies. Apparently there is brewing in this so I can make beer and ale and spirits. Oh, I'm totally down for that. A complex crafting tree? Not bad. It's got the a fact that good I, solid crafting tree, doesn't it? If you wanted to do a bit of everything, the game's going to going to go real slow. But if you have different people that want to focus on one person, focuses on taming, yeah, and combat. In, in the fairness, only reason I'm going down the taming tree is because it's part of the farming tree too. Yeah, yeah, and that will definitely come in handy. But in fairness, I have you know I've doubled the XP um, that you get, and I've doubled the yeah. um, the amount of resources stuff that falls off the things you hit so you know this is it, this isn't exactly vanilla no but it isn't exactly you know mind stompingly long to build a sloop for two people no the sloop went pretty quickly and we didn't even have the great tools then so yeah yeah we did most of that with just stone with stone tools exactly Oh, look at that. We're almost back. Oh, then. <laughs> the welcome respite. The welcome respite and the sad yar. Can you salvage a ship back from parts? Or yes, you can, actually, if you can find it. And that's, I think, the problem. We might have trouble finding the last resting place of our boat. Why don't you uh, take this rap hard? Oh, oh, that's right, because that's the fucking wind. God. Just like, why don't you just turn? Oh. Right, yeah, right. we're the still, wind still trying much. to go directly against the wind here. Yeah. 
There you go. We're right about there now. Hey, we made it back to base. Pretty much. And there we are. And here we be. Right. And we didn't die. No, we lost the sloop. But we, we didn't lost die. the sloop. We got some cool. I need Did you we to fix get my, anything uh, cool? Iron tools too. Uh, yeah, just put them in the uh, smithy, and um, nope. and I'll fix them for you. So that's our loom, um, and this is our. A little homely home here, and we made it back alive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that a win, folks. I that is a win in my book. Yep. Let's see. We need some wood here to fix this. We'll slap that in here and repair. Repair. Okay. Uh, kind of a short stream, but um, I was kind of like doing this while I was making dinner. Um, I'm going to try to hop back on again later, but I'm going to end the stream for now, and um, we'll do this again soon. Yeah, sounds, sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. Noble, Noble, Bubba, Flyboy, everybody who's watching, Floofs, if you're still there, thanks for tuning in, and um, see you next time.